where we update each other about the projects we have uh, handled that very same day. Andy, I want to thank you very much for updating our audience, our owners, and we will do it again at our next uh, session next month. Thank you. I'm sitting here with uh, Mr. Arthur Satterwhite, my associate from Cooper Square Realty. And uh, tomorrow, Friday, what is the day tomorrow, Arthur? The 10th. The 10th will be Arthur's last day at the Galaxy. I bring him to you uh, to say farewell. We have been working together very, very closely in these past eight months, and I have come to appreciate Arthur very, very much. Um, not only did he take care of your needs via email and your complaints, he also assisted you and management in general in many different tasks. I would like to add today, for the record, that without Arthur we would have not been here where we are today on many, many different subjects. And to name a few, uniforms for the front desk and doorman, which he handled when Elizabeth Petrello left. Arthur took over housekeeping, scheduling, payroll. So he had many additional tasks um, uh, he handled on a day-to-day -day basis and never once did he uh, object to what I asked him to do. But for the record again, his priority was always you, the customer, in customer service management. I also would like to add, Arthur, as you do know, that uh, you have gained a lot of respect from owners here at the Galaxy. Many people have come to uh, like you, understand you, with all the different issues you dealt with every single day, sometimes 10, 20, 30 different issues, but steadily you responded to each one of them. And also, as a customer service manager, ladies and gentlemen, it is not always so easy to have an answer uh, available because you do need to do some research. So Arthur, now you're leaving us and you're going on to bigger and better things, as we always call that. I want to thank you for everything you have done on behalf of Cooper Square Realty and the owners at the Galaxy. You have served us well. Thank you very much. And as a colleague and as a professional, I thank you. Would you like to add something and say goodbye to those people you have gotten to know in these past eight months? Sure. Um, it's been an honor working uh, with and for you here at the Galaxy as well with you, Mr. Van Bergen. Um, I have, over the past seven or eight months that I've been here, um, come to respect you as well as a lot of different people that I've met or interacted with here at the Galaxy. And as, though I'm sad to leave, um, I'm going to miss everybody here. It's um, I'm moving up. I'm young and it was my time unfortunately, but again, my time here will not, not be forgotten and if you guys need anything, definitely do not hesitate to reach out to me and contact me for with any questions or if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thank you. Happy sailing. Pleasure. many months, ladies and gentlemen, to find a custodial uh, housekeeping uh, manager. You know that we have been looking for that position to be filled for a very long time since Elizabeth left us. We are very happy today to introduce you to Yobanka Sanchez, who started working with us uh, last Monday, and uh, the date was the, the, six. the 6th of, yes. of October and uh, Yubanka uh, has been walking the premises, she has met already a great deal of uh, owners and residents and is getting acquainted with the staff and we are busy setting up her up at her uh, new office and usually a setup uh, of a new person coming on board and getting all the tools ready to, or to uh, operate properly takes a few days, perhaps a week or two Yobanka, very welcome Thank you. at the Galaxy. Thank you. Uh, talk a little bit about yourself, where you come from, 
uh, not too long, but just a couple of lines. Where do you come from? Okay, well, I have a hotel background. Um, my first hotel was uh, in the New York City, the Hilton, New York. Um, that is a 2018 um, rooms, and I was a housekeeping manager there. Um, I was responsible for the PM staff, and I did several duties. Um, from there, I have worked in the, the Roosevelt Hotel, that's at Madison on the east side of New York City. Uh, again, housekeeping manager. Um, and I also did their payroll administrative work uh, as well. Um, lastly, at uh, the Millennium um, Broadway, um, I worked housekeeping manager as well. And um, uh, same thing, just dealing with the PM staff responsible for the entire hotel operation on the PM shift. You asked me this morning in our morning meeting, AM, what I want. Yes. And I told you I'm not going to tell you that right now. <laughs> This is your third day today, so yes, you need to get uh, uh, acclimat acclimatized. Um, and the word in English escapes me at this moment, doesn't matter. And uh, we will meet uh, next Monday or next Tuesday because Monday is a holiday for some people here. And then we talk about the long lists we have, what we uh, want to be accomplished. But I'm asking you today, you have been walking the premises, you have told me that you want to come in night, very early morning, to see what our staff is doing. Can you elaborate a little bit? Well, what I've noticed is that you have um, you have porters and you have lead porters, but um, the PM staff is not being supervised, it's not being looked at to see if they're actually accomplishing their, their task. Also, you have an overnight porter, which needs to be um, supervised as well. Um, I was just um, telling you, I would like to start coming in at different times without mm -hmm. no scheduling. Um, just to check on the work, maybe yes. do a PM meeting around 4 when they come in, mm -hmm. and then later come back maybe a, around 7, 8, just to check on them, just to stop by, right. uh, something casual. Mm -hmm. um, also in the overnight, I would love to come in and see um, the spa area, because I understand he's responsible for all that area, um, responsible for um, the locker rooms, the ladies locker rooms especially. I would, like to take a look at that because I hear that that's one of the concerns. Mm -hmm. So um, I will start as, as soon as I finish this process of you know getting to know the staff and the office and everybody, I, I'm going to start doing that on my own. A final question for you, uh, Yvanka. With all the issues we had before as in housekeeping, grounds and housekeeping, um, what is your time limit or your time frame that we will start seeing improvements in many areas? How do you look at that? Well, I think that it's all a process. Mm -hmm. I am going to um, uh, see exactly what the staff are doing, their routines, mm -hmm. um, see how can I improve those routines, because I want to start doing details, which is basically what I see that it's most needed, yes. detail cleaning. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say if I can't um, get everything accomplished um, as planned, uh, maybe within three months, maybe less. But um, depending on the staffing issues, because it is an issue that we'll have to address. Yes. Thank you very much and welcome aboard. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. you have been watching, um, I brought up the fact that we have been looking at keeping or changing the current laundry company. I set up uh, BUD working sessions where laundry companies did their proposals and the board has been working quite hard in interviewing these people, these companies, many questions. I attended all of those. A decision has been made and the final choice will be announced at the next BUD board meeting which should take place on October the 16th. To get from A to B and from B to C is quite a lot of work. We have been working on the laundries for months now and we are very happy to announce that it soon will come to fruition and uh, you will see many changes in that area also.